Hello, my name is Ingrid Scherfels, Director at the Swedish Transport Agency, and I have the pleasure to chair the ITF Roundtable on reshaping the aviation sector in the wake of COVID-19. This roundtable gathered 35 experts from academia, the aviation sector, and international organizations. Government representatives also joined the meeting, including from Canada, Chile, Czech Republic, France, Japan, Korea, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and the United States. This expert forum was tasked with taking a long-term view of the impact of the crisis on the sector and identify policy recommendations for governments and regulators to ensure that aviation emerges from this crisis being more resilient and more sustainable while maintaining the benefits of competition and reconnecting the world. Despite the uncertainty on the long-term development of the sector, there was consensus among participants that in the post-COVID world, we can expect stronger alliances and more industry mergers. The participants also agreed that any government support and intervention to the sector should consider its impact on competition. And the focus should be on how competition can be preserved and provide a common level playing field. Decarbonization of the aviation sector, which started before the crisis, will be a decisive factor to build back better. For some participants, it was essential to make government support to the sector conditional on the industry's commitment to take steps to reduce their climate impact. If I were to summarize the conclusions from the roundtable, I would mention these five points. First, the crisis has shown us how crucial it is to have a coordinated approach in dealing with measures affecting cross-border international travel. Second, the sector needs clarity and certainty on travel measures to resume large-scale operations and deal with the impact of the pandemic. Third, government policies should be mindful of preserving the benefits of liberalization and competition achieved during the past few decades. We should not return to re-regulation and restrictive air services agreements. Fourth, less stringent rules on ownership and control of air carriers would probably have contributed to a more resilient sector, but there is currently no clear political way forward to reform these rules. Last, there needs to be a new approach to risks. Regulation should provide the necessary flexibility when society is confronted with such a crisis as we are facing now. Airports assets should be looked at from a long-term perspective in order for airports to have the financial stability to invest in much needed digitalization and decarbonization. On this webpage, you can also watch opening presentations of the three thematic sessions that were held during this roundtable. I also encourage you to dive into the ITF report on this subject which will be available later this autumn. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with the ITF team.